Welcome to Heat Check. This is the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's dig in to the list. All right, coming in here at number 10, we have this vintage Lee denim jacket, the 9-1B uh, size 40. This thing is incredibly beautiful. I, I think it's one of the coolest looking jackets I have seen in quite some time. Uh, it is in great condition. Let's take a look here. We have the pockets. Uh, we also have the zipper uh, pocket here, which I think is just, this is like denim perfection in my opinion. We have that uh, single uh, Lee on the little uh, label there, letting us know this is a pretty old piece, obviously. Uh, we have the uh, Lee Jelt denim. Uh, this is a great jacket you do not see come up that often, and it's in really good condition, all things considered. So, a uh, really dope piece right here that sold for $1,125 with 28 bids. Then we have a 1960s pair of uh, 501s. Uh, this one looks pretty good. I mean, it's like super clean, uh, really good color on it as well. So let's take a look at the, uh, the Jarcon uh, uh, patch is gone, unfortunately. Uh, but there is the big E. There is the selvage. There is a single stitch, uh, all things you would expect. But you notice here there is not a V stitch. Uh, so this is definitely probably between that 1967 and 71 era uh, late 60s uh, but still a beautiful uh, pair of jeans especially for the condition being they're uh, a great size 3430 um, and great color this one sold for twelve hundred and fifty dollars and next up we have a very 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 special denim jacket uh, type 2 507 double x uh, but this one is a first uh, for the heat check videos, and that is because I was the seller of this particular garment. Uh, yes, I sold this uh, pretty, pretty well distressed Type 2 denim jacket, obviously from the 1950s. Uh, we're actually going to be releasing a bigger video about this and a Type 1 uh, pretty soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. But pretty distressed here. Biggie, obviously. Uh, salvage denim on the inside. Here we have, uh, I think it was a 17, I believe, um, for the stamp. Uh, you have the uh, the cuff uh, rivets there as well. Uh, pretty standard fare as far as uh, Type 2s are concerned. We've seen these a, a few times here. Uh, this one sold for $1,400 plus shipping. Uh, thank you to the buyer uh, and, and congratulations to myself. <laughs> Next up, we have a pretty curious one here. This is a 501-501. Uh, uh, this was actually during the transition period uh, in the late 60s when you had, uh, uh, before you had little stamps over the 501, like uh, S or A or something like that. Um, and for a while, they were doing the little mini 501 over the top. Uh, this is one of those. Uh, you can see there's a J. We have the V stitch as well. Uh, so a pretty rare piece. You don't see the 501-501. Uh, combination very often and this one looks like a pretty good pair of jeans all things considered uh, as in terms of uh, 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 wear and such um, I actually think it did uh, pretty good uh, in terms of price I think it was a pretty good deal uh, on the behalf of the buyer uh, 1425 uh, with 64 bids so clearly there was a lot of people uh, trying to get their attention on this one uh, the buyer didn't seem to really know if it was 60s or 70s it's definitely um, uh, definitely at least 60s uh, I'm guessing uh, mid 60s for sure uh, so a uh, beautiful pair right here uh, good job and, and congratulations to the seller and uh, congratulations to the buyer for getting a pretty good deal uh, next up we have an appearance of Hercules this is uh, sort of one of the uh, the big uh, department stores versions of, of denim workwear and stuff I believe this one is uh, Sears but I could be wrong it could also be Daisy Penny. I can't remember off the top of my head but uh, this one is really cool we got this chore coat or rail man uh, rail, uh, rail man's chork jacket uh, in fantastic condition and that stamp looks just splendid um, I mean this looks almost unworn like dead stock condition um, which would be uh, pretty impressive and obviously uh, command the amount of money that it did command so uh, a lot of beautiful denim here super deep rich indigo blue so uh, there's the union stamp as well this one sold for $1,449 with only one bid I do believe it probably was just a, an offer that was accepted so uh, great jacket here uh, fantastic fantastic find 
All right, then we have this vintage Levi's 501 Big E. This is the uh, 1947 model. This would have, oh man, this is a beautiful pair. Obviously has some repairs um, and some wear, but you can see uh, just some incredible, uh, incredible uh, 1940s denim here. Um, uh, there's a V-stitch almost, it's pretty worn out. Um, it looks like, is it like a four? I can't really tell what number that is. We have the hidden rivets. We have that yellow thread that we uh, look for in older Levi's. Uh, maybe the one-sided uh, tab looks just pretty worn as well. Uh, centered belt loop. A uh, beautiful pair, uh, beautiful pair of jeans here. Um, obviously, some wear, so that's uh, does probably weigh on the prices a little bit, but not too ma too bad. Uh, it did sell for fifteen hundred dollars. Then we have another pair of 501s. These are the 501Zs here. Uh, it's missing the Jarcon patch, which is not that surprising. Uh, let's take a look. We have the big E, obviously. We have the, uh, there's the zipper down there. There's the V-stitch as well, hidden rivets. Uh, the Conmar, this is the 1950s. So this is an earlier model of the 501Z. So uh, that's why it ends up a bit higher on this list. A pretty awesome pair of jeans in really good condition as well. Uh, this pair sold for $16.50. All right, next up we have the Levi's 502, the Big E. Uh, this one's interesting because uh, there's that I or an L, and I think it's or one. I think it's an I in this case uh, over the 502, like we mentioned uh, before. Uh, this one looks like a very well, oh, good condition, maybe dead stock version of this. Uh, we have the um, selvage in the watch pocket there, V-stitch, uh, number six it looks like to me. Uh, this one is interesting because it has a V-stitch but no um, hidden rivets. I think there was a period, maybe a couple of years in the 60s where they took it out and then they put it back in. Um, but because this one has a, also has a uh, Talon 42 zipper, which was more indicative of the 70s. So uh, I believe it's probably at least from the second half of the 60s is my guess. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure about that. If you know, drop in the comments below. Let everybody be edified by your information. Um, uh, this is just a beautiful pair of jeans. I wish they would, they don't give any full, well, I guess these shots, they give a full, almost a full shot. But uh, just a reminder to everybody, it's, you know, make, get full profile shots of these of these jeans if you can. Definitely helps. But this one didn't need to help. It did sell for twenty five hundred dollars. Uh, then we have another Type Two. Uh, this one uh, was substantially better condition than, than mine. <laughs> um, beautiful blue, deep blue on this one. Uh, looks like there's I don't see any. Uh, particular defects or nicks or anything like that or, or wear. This is a beautiful type two. Here's the inside. They only use three pictures. Probably would have helped to give a few more, but uh, they got pretty close to what they were asking for. They got $2,500 for this type two denim jacket. And at number one, I think this is the first time we've seen a Carhartt this high up on the list, uh, but we have this 1920s Carhartt. Uh, chore coat. This is super cool. Uh, look at those heart buttons. That's really what sort of sets this guy apart are these heart buttons. Uh, these are very old and I do believe that the uh, buyer got a deal on this one. This is a very old version of Carhartt. Uh, uh, you just don't see it. I mean those buttons are super cool. You don't see that type of stuff too often. There's an old Carhartt logo, the script logo. Um, yeah, look at those buttons. These buttons are fantastic. Um, and for all things considered, uh, this being a, I believe it is a 20s jacket, uh, though I am not entirely an expert on this super old uh, Carhartt, um, this would have been a pretty good deal, uh, that's for sure, on, uh, or excuse me, this would have been a, pr it's a pretty good condition uh, for a jacket this old, obviously. Uh, but beautiful jacket, for sure, wicked cool elements on this jacket. Uh, this one it did sell for what they were asking for. They, it sold for uh, $3,500. So that was the top 10 heat check this week on this slightly abridged version. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.